starting with the Utah Jazz offensive rating. We know what they do. They like to shoot the three. They shoot it. They shoot it. They shoot it well. Rebounding. We know they're stu- astute in that department as well. So, Jimmy, starting with you, a lot of times we hear about this Utah team and the conversations I've had. They are a regular season yeah. team, and it's kind of used in a negative connotation. What is it going to take for this Utah team to change that narrative and be more effective later in the season? Well, one, they got to be healthy going into the playoffs. I think, Channing, for them, if they can have their core guys <clears throat> playing their best basketball on the court, then that gives them a viable chance, excuse me, <clears throat> to compete for a title. Now, you don't want to be labeled a regular season team because that is the connotation that, yes, you play well during the regular season, you get to the playoffs, and you can't get over the hump. Now, they had some challenges last year with Donovan going down, of course, and being hurt. But this year for this team, you see that window starting to eke in just a little bit. And for me, Channing, it's all about health. Can they get to the playoffs with their main guys ready to go? And can they make that final next step in the Western Conference to at least get to the conference finals? I'll be honest, I... Utah has everything. They have the sixth man of the year. They Mm -hmm. had two in the running. They had a running for the coach of the year, the defensive player of the year. And people were talking about Donovan Mitchell as maybe an MVP, Mm -hmm. right, just at the end there before he got hurt. For me, this team is very robotic at times. Mm -hmm. What happens in the playoffs is they're used to going back to their system. And those guys, and this is not a knock, but Donovan Mitchell is the only guy that can continue to level up. It is up to Donovan Mitchell to be a superstar. He has the potential to be that, right? Rudy Gobert is who Rudy Gobert is going to be. Jordan Clarkson and every other person on that team is who they are. Donovan Mitchell has to be Donovan Mitchell Sr. He got to be, <laughs> he got to go Super Saiyan mode for them to be special because let's talk about it. Teams that win usually have two superstars. Right. They have one. And then they have a lot of really good pieces. So for me, the regular season, they have the best screen and roll. They have one of the best centers. They play that drop and ice coverage. They don't switch more often. They run the same plays. They are very talented. They have vets. But it's Donovan Mitchell is not a superstar. They're not going to get past the first what, But you know what, though? It, what's interesting, too, and you know this by going through your championship run. If it's just Donovan Mitchell as a superstar, the defense is in the playoffs right. going to gear towards getting the ball out of his hand. Yes. They're going to force Joe Ingles, you know, and everybody else to kind of come in, Mike Conley, to make plays. Um, so it's going to be interesting because when you don't have that second guy on the perimeter, right. which is different because in Philly with B, you can drop it down. He can still play and make some moves right, and make right. things happen. But with Gobert – He's not that guy. Right. So who's going to be that second player when they take the ball out of Donovan Mitchell's hands consistently and force other players to step up and make plays? That's what I'll be – now, again, we're fast-forwarding talking no about question. the playoffs. Looking yeah. the, at the big picture. Uh, at the big picture. But that's a challenge that Quinn Snyder is going to have to face and what kind of offense adjustments he's going to make then. It has to be Joe Ingles. Mm -hmm. Joe Ingles can play that point forward Mm -hmm. where now you say, hey, Jordan, you got 10 shots in a row. Tone it down a little bit, big fella. (laughs) Right. You're one for 10. Let's get you a better shot, because if he can get going like when they played Atlanta, once he gets hot, good luck. But he just has to be efficient. Let Joe be the point guard. Let Mike Conley be the point guard. And then they can go from there. Ingles got going. Jordan Clarkson, don't forget about him. He caught fire late. That game gives you 30 off the bench. 